What is up YouTube and welcome to the end zone. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so we can move the chains. Oh Canada, can my Canadian subs please comment down below, including any loyal CFL fans. Y'all know what to do, drop a like and a comment. The 107th Grey Cup is upon us, and would you look at that beautiful bowl of silver that will either end up in the hands of the Winnipeg Blue Bombers or the Hamilton Tiger Cats. The matchup is Sunday, November 24th on TSN and ESPN Networks, so let's break this thing down. We'll begin with the quarterbacks, Dane Evans versus Zach Kolaros. Man, this is going to be fun. Evans has 3,754 passing yards and 21 touchdowns after coming in for Jeremiah Masoli. He has taken the offense to new heights. Zach Kolaros also came in for an injured quarterback, and he's been stellar with 460 passing yards in the playoffs. To me, though, Dane Evans has the edge here, and he's one of the hottest players in the CFL, and I think his talent beats Kolaros' experience. Okay, so this one should be more obvious, the running backs. It's Andrew Harris. He's averaging 6.1 yards per carry this year, and he has yet to score in this year's playoffs, but expect him to average at least four yards a pop. This is too easy. The Winnipeg Blue Bombers get the best running back here. For wide receivers, we really just have to look at the overall yardage gained in the last playoff games. Darvin Adams is the only 100-yard receiver for the Bombers, and he had two catches in that game. Braylon Addison and Brandon Banks both reached 100 yards, and Addison hauled in seven catches. The Ticats have the clear advantage at wide receiver. To me, the O-line goes to the team that can protect the line of scrimmage and rush the ball. Obviously, Andrew Harris is the best running back. He gets the most yardage. There's no coincidence there. Bombers have the best O-line. For the defensive line, Willie Jefferson is obviously a guy to watch. Jagera Davis leads the Ticats defensive front. This one to me is pretty even as both defenses can get to the quarterback, so I'll give this a tie. Now for the secondary and the linebackers, it's not as even. Hamilton takes these two convincingly. They have the best defense in the league by far, and it's because of their secondary and their linebackers. Simone Lawrence is the main factor who leads this defense at linebacker. Now finally for the special teams, the return game is fairly even. So are the kickers, Justin Medlock and Lirim Haju. You know what? You try pronouncing that. You got it, YouTube. Take it, take it, run with it in the comment section. Um, but, but they're almost even in every category, so I'll give this a tie. And now we can get into our final prediction. The final score prediction is here. But before we get into that, let me say this, defense wins championships. Turnovers are vital. The Hamilton Tiger Cats force turnovers. They also have a prolific passing offense, while the Winnipeg Blue Bombers are more of a run-heavy team with Andrew Harris, respectively. Because of those factors, I'm giving Hamilton the edge in an instant classic. Hamilton Tiger Cats 30, Blue Bombers 27, and an incredible 107th Grey Cup. That is my final prediction. Let me know what your prediction is down below. Please comment what you think the score will be and who you think will win the 107th Grey Cup. Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.